is Liza P too hard? And it's a very common thing you're gonna hear, you know, for a while, and then you hear it again whenever there's a, a sequel or an, a, a DLC to, to the game. In my review of Liza P, which you can watch at the end of this video or to the left or to the right of your screen um, now, um, I mentioned that Liza P is an actual hard game. I mentioned that I don't really find soul like games to be hard other than Sekiro. I think Sekiro is the hardest Souls game that, that I've played and the hardest soul like game I've played even to this point, even after beating Liza P. I still think Sekiro is a harder game. And I've seen people say that, that this game, Liza P, is harder than Sekiro. I think the term hard is very, very subjective and can be based on a number of different things, including your own fortitude and your own ability to understand and grasp what the game is about and, and how the game must be played. I always say this when it comes to Souls games and why I find them easy is if you know how to play the game, the game becomes very simple and easy to, to do. I run right through bosses in Souls games, especially, you know, because like Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, even in, in Elden Ring, I just ran roughshod as if the game was on easy mode because I know how to play those games. I know how those games want to be played, but I struggled in games where playing them was different. Sekiro is played differently from the Souls games. So because of that, I struggled with Sekiro because I had to relearn how to play the game. And when I did relearn how to play the game, I got better at it, but I still struggle because it's just an, an all in all harder game for me personally. Liza P was kind of the same way. At the beginning of Liza P, I struggled and felt like this game was incredibly punishing and bullshit in a lot of ways. But as I learned how the game wanted to be played, how to you know use the Fable Art system in a better way, how to use a Stagger system in a better way, how to use you know you know blocking in a better way, I'm actually breaking people's weapons now. Now, I got better at the game, and then the game felt easier. It's still a hard game, but it's not too hard. I feel like the term "too hard" is, is overused, and it's more of like a flavor of the week. I always say this when it comes to like Souls games. Be careful in people's opinions until after they beat the game. Because when they're playing the game and they deal with a hardship, they might trash the game, but in, in an hour, they'll love that game. And then an hour after that, they'll hate the game. You know, it's a, a constant thing, especially when you go through the honeymoon phase. When the game is new and you haven't played anything like it in a while, you go through the honeymoon phase where everything about the game is the best. This is the best thing here. This aesthetic right here is the best. This weapon is the best. This build is the best. Everything's the best when you're in the honeymoon phase. And that still goes into the effect of affecting a review. Someone give you a disingenuous review because they're in that honeymoon phase, but by the time they do their second playthrough, they might have a different opinion altogether because they now have a different understanding of the game. The honeymoon phase is over. They're more subjective to hating things and you know more uh, uh, aware of you know, potential you know outcomes so all the gameplay you're seeing right now is going to be um you know new game plus gameplay um and this is my my, my dex character um my my other two characters are you know i have one for, for, for each build style you know air quotes on build style um and that's also like a thing when it comes to the difficulty of the game what build you play could make the game harder or easier this isn't dark souls where there's a lot of build variety and a lot of weapons that you can build around there's really just you know your strength build your dex build and your advanced advanced build yes there's different weapons but again it's not as extensive as the souls games would be and it doesn't need to be but again if you're someone who isn't like actually good at the games what you make your build you know, it could dictate how you feel about the game because you can go on YouTube and look up all these guys and things like that, and they'll tell you how they beat the game and what they use to beat the game. And when you do, when you do that copy paste of what they're doing and your play styles now, they how they played it and or they they left out information that they should have put in but they didn't put in. Like you know, they use a specter but they don't show you that they use a specter, which is nothing wrong with specter. I know there's like a whole gatekeeping thing about using spears and co-op or in souls games and specters in this game do whatever you want with your video game you know how you beat it is how you beat it but you know for youtubers you know, they might leave out crucial details you know like what kind of cubic thing they use for, for a specter or what grindstones they use and did they use throwables they might leave things like that out just so you can you know get this illusion that hey i play a strength build i use this big thing i go pow and they lost their life like, or I use Dex build and Dex is very fast. I slice, slice, victory mine. Like there's way more to it than, than just that. And you can see people, you know, who will copy a build and go, oh, this build sucks. You should use this instead. Or they'll say, yeah, I like your build, 
but I think if you change this and this, this and this, and like, well, then at that point, it's not their build, it's, it's your build. <laughs> see, see, see what I'm saying here? But the thing about Lines of P that I also want to point out is there's a lot of things that you will criticize about this game that I've criticized about this game. That's not necessarily a flaw. I said in my review, if the idea here is the game design, then that's not a flaw. It's the game design. You know, so often you'll hear people say, including myself, that there's not enough iframes in this game or there's no iframes in this game, things like that. And it's like, well, maybe the issue here isn't that Liza P lacks iframes. The issue here is that you expect to have those iframes. This isn't Dark Souls. This isn't Elden Ring. This isn't a From Software game. From Software gives you all these, these you know, mechanics and features that make the game easier on you, like iframes and, you know, a very, very good dodge roll system. Not every game has to give you that exact same thing. Because that's also what facilitates the game being harder is, you know, the fact that you do have to, to, to rely on a whole new feature mechanics to win in, at the game instead of what you're used to. It's not a flaw that Liza P lacks iframes. That's by design. You know, if you want iframes and to, to a, a large extent, then go back to play Dark Souls because that's what Dark Souls gives you. Liza P is not Dark Souls. And... As much as is this a weird thing to say, these games are air quotes copycat games when it comes to these soul like games. But what sets them apart is what's different from between them and the soul like games. What does Remnant from Ashes and Remnant Two do differently from the Souls games? That's what sets us apart. What did, what does the, the new Lords of the Fallen going to do to separate it from Dark Souls games? You know, the original Lords of the Fallen, which failed horribly. You know, that game tried to be a, a complete carbon copy of Dark Souls and it failed horribly because it just didn't, it wasn't a good game, period. Even though it, it, it had decent dodging and had good iframes, it still failed. Mortal Shell's the same way, where it, it was a carbon copy of Dark Souls, but it, it wasn't, you know, this massive pop popular success like Liza P is because it, it, it didn't separate itself enough to be a different game. Liza P, what it captures is it got everything that we love about, about the Souls games, but it has its own identity, it has its own mechanics, it has its own features to where it's not the same game. As much as people want to say, oh, it's a Sekiro and Bloodborne copycat, it's a different game. You know, and we know it's a different game just via the listen people talk about the game, it's saying they don't have this that the Souls games have. They don't have this that Bloodborne and Sekiro have. It's like, well, good. That's not a flaw. That's by design, and what that really tells us is when we're begging for these things, we're saying we need iframes, we need a better dodge system, things like that. We're saying, I don't know how to play this game well enough. I need what I'm used to. I always say this when it comes to video games that people don't like to have to change how they play video games. People don't want to have to adapt. People just want whatever the status quo is. They want whatever they're used to, whatever the, it's, it's common. They want every control system to be the exact same. They want every feature and function to be the exact same across all video games because that's what they're used to. If people have to relearn how to play a video game, they're going to dislike that. Lines of P, you have to relearn how to play a Souls-like game. You can't rely on iframes. That's what you're doing right now. When you say that the game likes iframes, you're, you're saying that you, you, you rely on it. You, you need to rely on iframes to succeed. Well, this game's telling you, no, you're not going to sit here and rely on invisibility frames to succeed and you're saying the dodge system sucks but you're, you're telling the game i don't want to adapt or learn you know how to properly dodge i don't want to have to adapt or learn how to properly parry i want things to be easier on me but then you're playing the wrong game if you want the game to be easier on you you're playing the wrong game just learn how to play the game now does that mean i'm saying lies of p is like immune of like you know, any kind of insults. No, I gave the, the game a, a eight for a reason because it does have flaws and there are valid complaints about the game that you that you can make, like the, the camera movement. What I'm saying is when you say things that are like by design or by or feature are the bad things. And also just using those as a way to say the game is, is too hard. Because again, the point of this video is, is the game too hard? In which I would say it's not. You know, as a game that's too hard is a game that makes you just leave it. You know, like to a point to where your fortitude has been, you know, conquered. The game is just too too much for you. You can't handle it anymore.
you know, there has been only one game that I've ever gotten to that point to where I didn't even beat it because I just felt like it was too hard. And maybe if I revisit it and I actually just, you know, grind the game out in terms of, you know, play it the way it should be played, I would have a, a easier time with the game. But generally what I'm trying to say is, you know, if a game is too hard, you, you wouldn't know it. And you would know it just via the fact that you would just feel it in, in, your, in yourself that, all right, I can't do this. You know, you 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 reach that 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 wall where it's like I'm in I've been trying to fight the same enemy, not even a boss, just the same enemy for an hour, and I'm feeling like it. if you're fighting a mini boss in in this game and, you, and it's too much for you, that might be a sign. At the same time, I tell you this, and the same advice to people who want to play like Souls games and, and how to be, be better at those games. Figure out how you want to play the game, because usually when it comes to dying in a video game. It means you're doing something wrong. We as gamers like to make excuses and it has to be some other reason, some ulterior motives. It can't be me. The reason the game is hard for you is because you're doing something wrong. Figure out what that is and then do better. You know, and it's not like a, a, a get good comment because I think, again, when it comes to the, the whole gatekeeping of, of these games, when it comes to the get good, don't use this, don't use that. If you play this bill, you're worse. Than, and what, like, ignore all of that. What I'm, what I'm saying is the game's easier for you if you just learn how the game itself wants to be played you know see what's what's working like oh okay these th this 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 dodge regain system that it has this guard regain that seems to be like a very important thing this game wants you to do all right i'm gonna take advantage of that hmm. i'm not very good at parrying but there's a legion arm that makes blocking and parrying a little bit easier with the ages yeah that's what well, we'll, we'll go with, with that now figure out what works for you. Don't just listen to, hey, the best arm in the game is the 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 puppet strain. You know, figure out what you like. Figure out what 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 Legion arm works best for you. That's helping you out. What's that's giving you an advantage in your fights. And the game will be easier for you. It's not too hard. It's hard, but it's not too hard. With all of that said, that's it for, for me. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave any thoughts in the comments below. It's kind of like a, 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 a tangent or a rant. You know, there's no script for this video. It's just me talking about Lies of P. Uh, I'll be live on Twitch streaming some Resident Evil 4 pretty much all week, as well as Don't Star Punk and Assassin's Creed uh, Mirage on Thursday. You might guys me see the video on a Tuesday or Monday. Depends on when I put Cyberpunk view, view up. But yeah, link is possible. I'll be watching on, watch on Twitch. Stream every weekday from 3 p.m. Eastern. So whenever I decide to turn, turn the game off, <laughs> but yeah, be your boy Nubis. Hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Y'all stay safe. Be kind to one another. It's free to be kind. Hope y'all feel good both mentally and physically. And I'll catch you when I catch you. I'm out of here. Deuces.